If you want to make instant dreadlocks or maintain frizzy dreadlocks, make sure to pick yourself up a crochet hook from greatlocks.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great, and today we're taking a look at LA Capone's dreadlocks. We're going to take a look at the journey a little bit. Now, you guys requested this video a bunch in the last video, so make sure to comment down below who you guys want to see next under this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's always good to watch these videos as inspiration for your dreadlocks. If you have a dreadlock inspiration, make sure to comment that down below. But with all that being said, guys, let's get straight into it. On one of these first photos, the one thing that I really noticed is that he has two strand twists. And I believe that is how he started out his dreadlocks. So if you are interested in the way his dreadlocks look, it's always good to kind of follow the steps in which that person got their dreadlocks. And you can kind of emulate exactly how they got them so that your dreadlocks look the same exact way. So with him starting out with two strand twist, he paired it up perfectly with his hair type, with that being a 4B. And you guys have heard me say this countless times. But it's very true that the 4B hair type and the 4C hair type or really anything that has a tight curl pattern is very suitable for dreadlocks. Now this doesn't discount anybody that has straight hair. Of course there are methods like crochet hooking, instant locking, interlocking, you know, twist and rip that are very suitable for straight hair in order to create dreadlocks and I have plenty of videos on that as well. And if you don't know your hair type, make sure to click the link down below that says what is your hair type. And if you already know your hair type, make sure to comment down below what your hair type is. But many of you guys do know, and if you don't know, that majority of people that have dreadlocks typically have anywhere from a three to a four range of the hair type. And it's just like what I said, just because it's more typical. Now with him starting out with two strand twist, it takes the hair a little bit longer for it to actually lock up since he's doing more of a traditional route of dreadlocks, which is kind of self-explanatory considering the time in which he got his dreadlocks. That was very popular. It was the twisting with gel, it was the two strand twist, we didn't really see much of the sponge rub or the crochet hooking or instant locking or anything like that back in his time, which obviously isn't that long ago, but honestly crochet hooking and things of that nature were mostly introduced about, you know, five to six years ago and is definitely more popular now. But there is a tip I want to tell you guys about two strand twist dreadlocks. When you're doing two strand twist, keep in mind if you want to keep in a two strand twist and allow those two strand twists to turn into dreadlocks or if you want to do a two strand twist and then do a twist out and have those single twists and then have those single strands turn into dreadlocks and the reason i'm saying that is because you want to keep in mind the section size that you're actually creating because if each strand in the two strand twist is a big section then that means that your overall dreadlock is going to be quite big because you're doubling up in size considering that there's two sections in the two strand twist so if you want to keep the two strand twist in and allow the two strand twist to turn into dreadlocks then I would consider creating the section that you have in mind and then splitting that section to create the two strand twist. Now, of course, if you just want each strand in the two strand twist to turn into dreadlocks, then obviously you just create the sections for that two strand twist to the size that you want your dreadlocks to be. So that when you do the twist out, the strand is in the perfect, the section of the strand is perfect for the dreadlock. And obviously keep in mind that two strand twist is mostly popular or I would say more suitable for the four range hair type. And the reason I'm saying that is because with a straighter curl pattern, it's harder for the hair to want to stay in a two strand twist. Because believe it or not, with the four range hair type, you can do two strand twists without any product whatsoever. But of course, people typically use products like locking gel, which I would highly recommend the Great Lux locking gel, just because it has a maximum hold and will hold in your twist perfectly. But on the flip side, if you have a straighter hair type or if you have like a looser curl, the two strand twist is not really gonna wanna stay in. So it definitely requires you to use locking gel. Like I said, I would recommend the Great Locks Maximum Hold Locking Gel, which if you wanna pick that up, the link to that is down below. And this product can be used for simple retwists or for styling your dreadlocks. Now, although LA Capone started out with two strand twists, which is actually a method that requires a lot of maintenance, we see that down the line, his roots got very messy and he allowed it to overgrow and kind of become semi-freeform, which I've explained in multiple videos to where you either start out with a method and you allow it to freeform afterward, or you just don't do that much maintenance, or you start out freeform and then you maintain it later. I would call all those methods semi-freeform. But in this case, especially in the time that he had his dreadlocks, especially with him being in Chicago, this is a very popular hairstyle. And especially the way that he has his dreadlocks is very popular as well. Because I'd probably say this is around the time of Chief Keef. Now obviously it's a little after his time as well. And I mean of him becoming initially popular. But when it comes to places like Chicago or Atlanta or Georgia, not only are dreadlocks popular, but a certain style of dreadlocks is popular. 
And in this case, the way his dreadlocks look, I would say even more of the traditional style of dreadlocks are very popular in Chicago. And just like I mentioned earlier about Atlanta or Georgia, wicks are very popular down there. But you guys, overall, LA Capone has some interesting dreadlocks, but like I said, they are very traditional. And I wanna hear you guys' comments down below. Do you prefer traditional style dreadlocks? What I mean by twisting the gel or two strand twist, something that takes a little bit more time for it to actually come into fruition to becoming dreadlocks? Or do you like freeform dreadlocks? Or do you like, you know, instant dreadlocks? I wanna hear you guys' comments down below. I personally like all kinds of different dreadlocks. One of my favorites are freeform dreadlocks. So I wanna hear you guys' comments. But you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video because you guys recommended it over and over again. So be sure to comment down below who you guys want to see next. And like I said earlier on, if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel because it's always good to have some dreadlock inspiration to look forward to. But on that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Visit greatlocks.com to save time and money on your dreadlocks. The Great Locks Crochet Hook is perfect for making instant dreadlocks and maintaining frizz. The Great Locks Interlock Tool is made perfect to tame your new growth. And you can get both these tools now, either separately or get them together in the locking bundle. Want to learn how to instantly lock up your own hair or become a loctician and make money while locking up others' hair? Join the Great Locks Masterclass now on sale for only half the price. Or you can take the Dreadlock School class now for only $20. Click the link in the description to shop now.